Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. As you know students in last lecture we finished question number 4 of exercise 9.8. And the topic of whole exercise is solving further trigonometric functions. Solving equations related to further trigonometric functions. Further trigonometric function means three reciprocal function that is cosec, sec and cot. Today we will continue exercise 9.8 and first we will do question number 5. Before I start question number 5. I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is AdMath watch previous lectures of exercise 9.8 after watching previous lectures definitely you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number five Question number 5 you can see on your screen. Solve each of these equations for 0 to 360 degrees. Very easy. Part A. Sec square x is equals to 4. The reciprocal of sec is cos. Therefore, cos square x should be 1 upon 4. Then cos x is equals to taking square root on both sides. Therefore, it will be plus minus 1 upon 4 on a root of 1 upon 4 on other side. What is the square root of 1 upon 4 is 1 upon 2. Hence, we have two equations. One is cos x is equals to 1 upon 2 and other is cos x is equals to minus 1 upon 2. The domain of this question number 5 is given for 0 to 360 degrees so first take cos x is equals to 1 upon 2 cos is positive and you know cos is positive in first and in fourth quadrant therefore x is equals to cos inverse 1 upon 2 and cos inverse 1 upon 2 is you can find with the help of your calculator is 60 degrees and for fourth quadrant this value should be subtracted from 360 degrees so it will be a 300 degrees it means cos will give 1 upon 2 with two angles one is cos 60 degree and one is cos 300 degree now taking second equation cos x is equals to minus 1 upon 2 that is negative and cos is negative in second and in third quadrant therefore cos x sorry therefore x is equals to cos inverse minus 1 upon 2 if you find with the help of calculator you will have 120 degree and this value is lies in second quadrant therefore this is our answer how to find the value in third quadrant first we have to find the basic angle 
subtract this value from 120 degree it will be a 60 degree therefore the value in third quadrant is 180 plus 60 degrees that is 240 degrees it means there are two angles 120 degrees and 240 degrees which gives you cos minus 1 upon 2 now write all the answers in ascending order first is 60 degrees then 120 degrees then 240 degrees and then 300 degrees and this is our final answer so hope you completely understand part a how to solve quadratic trigonometric further trigonometric equations move to part b part b is 9 cot square x is equals to 4 then cot square x 9 must be divided on other side then taking square root but before taking square root what is the reciprocal of cot the reciprocal of cot is 10 therefore it will be 10 square x and 4 upon 9 must be 9 upon 4 and now taking square root on both side 10x is equals to plus minus 9 upon 4 10x is equals to plus minus the square root of 9 upon 4 is 3 upon 2 hence we have two equations one is 10x is equals to 3 upon 2 and other is 10x is equals to minus 3 upon 2 so we have two equations taking one by one both equations first is 10x is equals to 3 upon 2 10 is positive and 10 is positive in first and in third quadrant so x is equals to 10 inverse 3 upon 2 10 inverse 3 upon 2 is 56.3 50 6.3 and for third quadrant this value add in 180 degrees which is equals to 36.3 2 36.3 taking second equation 10x is equals to minus 3 upon 2 it is negative and 10 is negative in second and in fourth quadrant so first we have to find x is equals to 10 inverse minus 3 upon 2 which is equals to minus 56.3 and this value will not be acceptable so we will consider because we are doing the work in positive domain only so we will take this as a basic angle that is 56.3 for second quadrant this value must be subtracted from 180 and for fourth quadrant this value must be subtracted from 360 degrees hence 
x is equals to one eighty minus fifty six point three is one twenty three point seven. And three sixty minus fifty six point three is three zero three point seven. Hence, final answer is x is equals to fifty six point three. fifty six point three degrees and one twenty three point seven and two thirty six point three and three zero three point seven degrees this is our final answer A student answer in the book is fifty six point three one twenty three point seven and this value two thirty six point three is not present the value present is two sixty three point three clearly this value is wrong in the book my answer is hundred percent correct you can check with the help of calculator so kindly correct it come to part c Part C is sixteen cot square one upon two x is equals to nine. So it should be cot square one upon two x is equals to nine upon sixteen. Cot is the reciprocal of ten, so it should be ten. Square one upon two x is equals to. This must be sixteen upon nine. Taking square root on both side. So ten is ten one upon two x is equals to plus minus root sixteen upon nine. So it will be ten one upon two x is equals to plus minus. Sixteen upon root is four upon three. Now we have two values, two trigonometric equations. One is tan one upon two x is four upon three, and other is tan one upon two x is equals to minus four upon three. But before I start to solve the equation, consider our our domain. Our domain is from. Zero to three sixty degrees, and we have the angle one upon two x. So we should convert the given domain in terms of one upon two x. How it is possible? Just divide two by each and every angle. So zero upon two is zero. X upon two x is one upon two x. And three sixty degrees upon two is one eighty degrees. Now our new domain is zero to one eighty degrees. So taking equations, first equation is tan one upon two x is equals to four upon three. Then one upon two x is equals to Ten inverse four upon three. Ten is positive. Ten is positive in first and in third quadrant. But because our domain is 
180 degrees so we will take only one angle that is the angle lies in first quadrant so 1 upon 2x is equals to 10 inverse 4 upon 3 is 53.13 and this is the only angle 53.13 1 upon 2x is 53.13 therefore x is equals to 2 multiplied by 53.13 x is equals to 106.3 after multiplication 106.3 so this is the only angle similarly taking second equation with negative sign 1 upon 2x is equals to minus 4 upon 3 10 is negative in second and in fourth quadrant but because our domain restricted to 180 degrees so we will take only the angle which is lies in second quadrant so 1 upon 2x is equals to 10 inverse minus 4 upon 3 so 1 upon 2x is equals to 10 inverse minus 4 upon 3 gives you minus 53.13 so we will consider this as a positive angle that is basic angle 53.13 and achieve the angle in second quadrant by subtracting this angle from 180 so 180 minus 53.13 is 126.87 126.87 hence 1 upon 2x is equals to 126.87 this 2 should be multiplied by 126.87 degrees which is equals to 253.7 hence final answer would be 106.3 comma 253.7 these are only two angles so students this is question number 5 we did all part of question number 5 very easy these are the quadratic equations of further trigonometric equations very important according to examination point of view what next the last question question number 6 but we will do this question in next lecture until unless do practice of question number 1 to question number 5 more and more and more and I promise you I will finish this exercise in next lecture so if you like my videos if you are satisfying my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can and that's it good luck for next lecture